All right, so today we're going to pair the AirPro Wireless to the APX8000. Here's the AirPro Wireless box, and this is a Bluetooth radio adapter with a Bluetooth push to talk button so you could pair uh, headsets like uh, AirPods and Beats and so forth. So what we're going to do is take this unit out. Here are the contents, which is the Bluetooth radio adapter, which also has a Bluetooth on and off slide switch. So you want to make sure the switch is on, which it is. And here's the pairing button. Now the button does compare to the adapter out of the box, so you don't have to go through the pairing process there. So first thing we're going to do is turn off the radio and attach the adapter part on the top first and screw in the screw on the bottom of the radio adapter. This is your push to talk button, it's also your pairing button. So what the instructions say is to hold the button down and turn on the radio at the same time. And we're gonna hold it for about 20 seconds and then we're gonna release and the LED on the button should be blinking red and blue and that's what puts it into a pairing state. And now we're gonna release and it should go into pairing mode on its own. So now we're looking for the adapter to flash red and blue to put into a pairing state. And there you go. So now that's flashing blue and red, we're going to put the headset into pairing state as well. So this one you press and hold and we're looking for red and blue there as well. And when the adapter turns solid blue, then you have a connection to the headset. So now the headset is paired. Turn off the radio. We'll leave the headset on. And then we're gonna turn the radio back on. Because the next step is gonna be the remote switch that we're gonna link that to the adapter. So we're gonna let the radio cycle a little bit and catch the Bluetooth on the headset. Now that it turns solid, we have a solid connection to the headset. Now, again, the switch already comes paired, so all you have to do is press and hold until the first LED is gonna come on. Then you release, and we give that around another 10 seconds to make sure that there's a good connection to the adapter. So we're gonna press down on the button. If the LED turns red, then we are transmitting. There we go. There we go. So now I'm gonna put on the headset and do a transmission. So now you can see that we have a solid light on the adapter and I'm gonna to transmit to this other radio here. There's two ways to transmit. I could also press the button on the adapter and do a transmission. Also, I could press on the push to talk button here, the remote switch, and do a transmission as well. And that is a complete setup to pair a headset to the AirPro Bluetooth adapter in combination with the remote switch. To power down everything, these are the steps. First, power down the radio. Then you could power down the headset. Again, however the instructions mention it. This one here, we're just, there we go, it turns red. Now for the switch, there are multiple ways to turn it off. If you don't do anything with the switch and the radio is off, there's no more link connected, the switch will turn off by itself at about 10 minutes. Now once it starts flashing, that is your signal that you can now turn off the switch. So you're gonna press and hold the push to talk button until the LED light turns red. Then the switch is gonna power off on its own. There we go. Another way to do it is with the USB cable. You could plug it in and that's the way you charge it, but this will also turn red and now you're charging, but also you turn off the switch. And that's the whole thing.